Well, I think that uh, if you had to say I had a style, it would be big and outrageous. Um, I'd like to say it's very Californian, but it seems to be growing worldwide as to like bigger styles. Um, that being said, finding some balance in there as well, and that's that's cornerstone. Um, you're trying to have your cake and eat it too at the same time. Um, we focus on alternative reds, and you know, I look for the funk in the wines mostly as much as I can. The varietals that I'm working with, it's all about finding great vineyards, working with the great vineyards. But then, um, what I do in the winery is trying to maximize what I can get from there and bring intricate styles of wine making into it to take everything that I've got from the vineyards into the next level. Um, we'll get into nested carbonic macerations. Um, we may do three different fermentation styles within the same lot, um, you know, done separately. So ultimately when they come together you have that many more layers of style and flavor. Uh, multiple yeast strains, um, wild yeast where it's, where it's useful, you know, um, and, and really trying to build these big components that are coming together to make something Better. It's almost like if you looked at like a gourmet chef putting a dish together, you know, planning out your pieces because you've done this before. You're not just winging it, and you're saying, "Oh, if I can make this part sing this way, it'll go so much better with this here." And you're putting these things together, and it all is kind of the goal that you're bringing into it. And wood plays a big part in it because if you're going for really big, outrageous wines, um, you know, you you want to have the pedigree of the land, you want to respect the fruit, you want to have all these styles come in, but where my job really uh, comes to fruition is in styling it the rest of the way. Um, so if I have, you know, it's like it's like you know being a painter or or a, or a photographer having a beautiful subject to work with is 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 one thing, but what you do with it from there is everything. So um, you know you bring all the technology to bear that we have right now, plus your knowledge of wood. Um, and, and what you've experienced in that world, and it's always working with the best barrels you can find, you know. And specific to the woods, or, or, or specific to the wines, depends on what wood you're going to be using. So it's, it's kind of, a, you know, years and years of knowledge and trialing and testing and finding out what's going to go well with what. And then once you figure that out, then it's about finding the cooper that's going to deliver exactly what you're looking for to help build that component into it. And you're always going to work with the best wood, you know, the most integrity in the aging processes, um, the best control over the toasting universe, and consistency. Consistency is so important and that's truly what will take you to the next level.